ever stumble upon a story um, that felt like modern folklore? A whimsical tale, but with like surprising depth. Okay. That's what we're diving into today. This blog post called Giants Among Us. Mm -hmm. It's from a, a site called Wordsy Made. Get ready for, well, some giant guinea pigs. After. And like even bigger questions about, well, ourselves. This should be interesting. I'm always fascinated by how fiction, even, you know, something as unusual as this, can um, hold a mirror up to society. Exactly. So I imagine the this, this story starts with someone deciding to get not one, but two guinea pigs, Winky and Rosa. Which seems harmless mm -hmm. enough, right? Yeah. But then these furry friends, they start growing yeah. and growing and they just don't stop. I'm already sensing like a healthy dose of absurdity, which, yeah. as we know, can be a powerful tool for um, social commentary. Oh, absolutely. The author's humor really shines through as they describe like the everyday chaos of these ever expanding guinea pigs. Picture the, the vet visit. They can barely like squeeze them onto the scale. The <laughs> frantic rearranging of furniture to accommodate, you know, their increasing girth. Wow. There's this one line that made me chuckle. They were a bit unruly on the ride home, seeming to disagree with each other the whole way about whatever it is guinea pigs care about. Oh, that's great. Classic backseat bickering, no matter the species. It's that, you know, relatable absurdity that makes the story so engaging. But by exaggerating the mundane, the author subtly invites us to, like, examine our own behaviors. Yeah. And, and perhaps even the ridiculousness of some of our own habits. And it gets even wilder from there. These guinea pigs, Winky and Rosa, they eventually become gigantic, like right. elephant size. And that's when things take a truly thought-provoking turn. They start talking, but they're not just squeaking for more snacks. They're commenting on, like, the news, human nature, you know, the whole nine yards. It's a, it's a brilliant narrative device, wouldn't you say? This reversal of roles where the, the once small and seemingly insignificant creatures become the, the giants, both literally and metaphorically. Suddenly, we're seeing ourselves from their perspective, and uh, it's not always flattering. You said it, and their observations are full of sharp wit and, and kind of uncomfortable truths. There's this line that really jumped out at me. Look at these poor, pathetic humans. They destroy all that they desire. It's delivered with humor, but it, it packs a punch. It got me thinking, are we really that transparent in our, our insatiable appetites, our need to consume? What, what do you make of that, especially in the context of this like outlandish story? It's, it's a powerful line, isn't it? On the surface, it's, well, this absurd image of giant guinea pigs right. uh, judging humanity. Right. But, but the author is tapping into something very real about, about our relationship with consumption. Yeah. You know, we live in a world where bigger is often equated with better, yeah. where more is, is seen as the, the path to happiness. Yeah. And this story, through its humor and, and exaggeration, it asks us to just, you know, consider the consequences of, of that mindset. And it's not just what they say, it's, it's how they say it. Yeah. Um, they observe us with this, this mix of amusement and disappointment, almost like they, they expected, I don't know, more from us. Oh. Reminds me of that classic line from uh, Planet of the Apes, you blew it up, damn you, God damn you all to hell. Right. Except, you know, with less Charlton Heston and, and more squeaking. <laughs> There's definitely a shared thread of uh, social commentary running through those narratives. Mm -hmm. But um, what I find particularly interesting in Giants Among Us is is the author's choice to to focus on such, you know, seemingly insignificant creatures. Yeah. We don't often associate guinea pigs with, like, profound insights. Right. So by, by giving them this voice, this platform, the author is challenging our, our preconceptions about, you know, where wisdom can come from. It's like they're saying like, hey, even we can see the flaws in your logic. And because it's it's coming from these unexpected sources, it makes you, I don't know, it makes you pay attention in a, in a different way. But it's not all doom and gloom, right? I mean, eventually these, uh, these supersized social commentators, they decide to move on to find a new salad to munch on, so to speak. They uh, they blast off into space, leaving the narrator and us to ponder their words and, and maybe, just maybe, make some changes. Their departure is fascinating, isn't it? Mm -hmm. On one hand, it, it could be seen as a, a sign of hope. Nature, in this case, represented by these extraordinary guinea pigs, has outgrown our, our limitations, our destructive tendencies. Mm -hmm. They're moving on to a grander existence, leaving us behind in our in our oh. mess. But But on the other hand, there's that lingering question of of what we're left with, right? They they may be gone, but their observations, their their indictment of our behavior, it it stays with us. Precisely, and that's that's where the real power of this story lies. It's it's not just a a funny anecdote about you know overgrown rodents. It's a call to action. 
a challenge to examine our impact on the world and, and on each other. It's making me look at my own guinea pig, Mr. Nibbles, in a, in a whole new light. <laughs> Laughter. <laughs> He's probably judging my snack choices as we speak. Perhaps. Oh. But in all seriousness, I think the, the beauty of Giants Among Us is, is its ability to, to spark these kinds of conversations, <laughs> to, to make us laugh and think in, in equal measure. It really does make you wonder, doesn't it? Like, what would actually happen if if we encountered a species or even just, you know, another being that was capable of of reflecting our flaws back at us? So directly, I mean, would we even listen or would we just be like, here's a carrot, you know, hope for the best? That's that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Mm. And it speaks to, I think, the the enduring power of satire, mm. you know, by using humor and exaggeration, authors like like this one, they can smuggle in some some pretty profound questions yeah. about about morality, responsibility, you know, our place in in the grand scheme of things. And and let's not forget, I mean, the sheer imagination on display here. This author has created a world that's that's both, you know, familiar and utterly bizarre at the same time. We've got giant guinea pigs lounging on South Beach, casually commenting on the the state of humanity. I love it. It's enough to make you chuckle, but it, it also leaves you with this this lingering sense of unease, a reminder that our our actions have consequences, even if we don't don't always see them right away. Precisely, and that's that's perhaps the most um, valuable takeaway from from Giants Among Us. I think it's a reminder that even in the the most unexpected places, in the most whimsical of stories, um, we can find profound truths about ourselves and and the world around us. Well said. It's been a it's been a wild ride exploring this quirky, thought provoking tale. We started with a a simple blog post about you know overgrown guinea pigs, and somehow we've ended up you know contemplating the nature of consumption, the power of satire, the the enduring search for meaning in a in a sometimes absurd world. A testament to the the power of storytelling. It's a reminder that sometimes the the most profound insights come from the the most unexpected sources absolutely so the next time you find yourself you know scrolling through the internet keep an eye out for those those hidden gems those yeah. stories that make you laugh make you think and and maybe even question you know everything you thought you knew right you never know what you might discover thanks for joining us on this deep dive into giants among us until next time keep exploring keep questioning and and keep those snacks out of reach of of any unusually large rodents in your life